Hello everybody, it's Flippin' Friday. Stick around to see what I sold this past week on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. Hello everybody, my name is Heather. If you're new to my channel, thank you for checking me out. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Thread Up, The Real Real. I do in-person sales through my videos and my Instagram. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan, and I'm obsessed with Disney. Also, I'm a volleyball coach and a volleyball player. Little out of order, that's okay. Um, if you are a previous subscriber, thank you for checking out my channel again. Thanks for coming back. Um, I'm enjoying talking to people in the comments. That's been really fun, so thank you when you do interact with me that way. It also helps my videos, which is great as I'm trying to grow my channel. So we are going to go through what sold this past week for me on my three platforms, and I had a couple of... Instagram slash YouTube sales. So I'll try to remember to go over those as well. Um, YouTube sales first. Beth, again, another a viewer that has purchased from me multiple times now. She came back and bought that Lululemon headband and the Kate Spade bracelet that I got in my Thread Up Fun Boxes. If you didn't see that video, I will link it up here. Um, she always purchases things for me and I really appreciate it. She also got a Dooney and Burke purse recently, but I think I had that in last week's what sold. So um, and I'm trying to think of anyone else because now I'm also posting my son sold some shoes to somebody through Instagram, but it posted on my account when we were in the store. I don't know if anybody else purchased from me. If I can remember, um, I'll put it up here, but if I, you did and I forgot, I'm really sorry. I usually write those down because I don't have them just on my computer. Okay. So Friday the 13th. Okay. The first thing I sold on eBay was this Fabletic sports bra. It was the Electra strappy sports bra in a size large. Red and gold, it sold for $15. Next was a Hilo Hattie. Is that how you say that? Or is it Hilo Hattie? It's a Honolulu, like Hawaii brand dress. It was a midi dress, white, really pretty, really pretty size large, and that sold for $30. I sold this vintage Gail LaBelle made in Brazil elephant belt. I don't get belts a ton, but this one was really cool. Um, how it connected, it had like two little elephants with their, um, I almost said horns trunks <laughs> and I almost said noses and that's how their trunks connected for the front of the belt so it was really cool and I sold that for $25. Next was a Kate Spade shirt. It was Kate Spade Broom Street eyelash short sleeve t-shirt and a size extra small. Kate Spade clothing doesn't do great for me but I did pick this up and it sold for $20. The next thing I sold was a Victoria's Secret leopard animal print very sexy push-up bra in a size 36c. Animal print for Victoria's Secret does well for me and it sold for 20. Next was a pair of Kendra Scott earrings. I actually said someone, um, Bridget, it looks like, saw these on my YouTube channel. So Bridget, thank you so much for sending me an offer. She sent me an offer of $17 or was it 18? 18 it looks like, which I was totally fine with. Comps were anywhere from like 10 to 30 for most of the earrings. So a really quick sale. And plus when I have people that tell me they're from YouTube, or my Instagram, I'd like to give them good deals. So I did sell those to her. And so that was a really good quick sale from my fun box. Next was an Equipment Femme Red Signature 100% Silk Long Sleeve Top. I had this for a little while, but it did sell for my full asking price of $45.88. Next was a Cacique, I think that's how you say it, a One Piece Lace Up Floral Swimsuit. This I just got maybe a couple of weeks ago and it was in a size 24 and it sold very quickly for $24. Next was the Polo Ralph Lauren Men's Maroon Long Sleeve Shirt. It had a pheasant on it. I thought that would maybe make it interesting. It sat for a while and it sold for 20. So still made some money, but probably not something I would pick up in the future. Next was a Brooke Brothers and Laurel Piana like collaboration skirt. It was a cashmere blend pencil skirt. I got this a while ago from the consignment store clearance event and it sold for $30. I sold this Tory Burch Ella Straw Tote. This was in a thread up name brand handbag rescue box and it sold very quickly for $70, which I was really happy with because lots of the patent leather was scuffed up. Um, next is a Polo Ralph Lauren horse equestrian wool navy blue tie. It was made in Italy and so I went ahead and picked it up. I really liked the print on it. It was really interesting and it sold for $21. Next was a pair of Flying Monkey Mid-Rise Distress Raw Hem Skinny Jeans. These were in a size 29 and they sold for me for $24. Next was a men's shirt. This was the brand Roar 
and this actually sold very quickly. It sold for my full asking price of $30.88. It was the blue stamina embroidered long sleeve shirt. So that was a really great sale. I sold these pair of guest boots. They were vintage um, brown leather lace up Western style. They were in size nine and a half and they sold for $40. Next was a Coach Green Leather Medium Crossbody handbag. I wanted to sell this for more, but since I'm getting a lot of handbags in these thread up boxes, I am ready to move some old ones out. And I've had this one for quite a long time and it sold for $35. And then I sold this Cabbie Red Square Neck Cable Knit Pullover Sweater. That was horrible talking. It was in a size extra small and it sold for $25. I sold this Ming Wang black sleeveless career dress. It was in a size petite large and that sold for me for $25. Next is a pair of Athleta mid-rise crop capri leggings. They were super soft. I couldn't find the style name for them. So I just did my own keywords and they sold for 20. I sold this Melissa McCarthy seven chambray midi dress. This was in a size one X. I actually had it for quite a while. Usually this brand does pretty well for me for plus size, but for some reason this dress wasn't really moving and it sold for $22.25. That was an offer sent to me, obviously. Next was a Lily Pulitzer pink Mila shift dress in a size two. This got lots of interest on all the platforms. It sold within a few weeks for $45. The next item was a new Athleta green ribbed mock neck long sleeve activewear top, and this sold for $30. And then the last thing I sold this morning was a new Cassique lightly lined pink full coverage bra. It was in a size 42 triple D and that sold for $30. So eBay sales were great. My sales have been very consistent all week. Uh, let me know how your guys' sales have been. I feel like getting closer to fall sales have picked up. I definitely was kind of slow during the summer. So I'm kind of glad that's over with and I hope this continues in the fall. Okay, Poshmark, Fabletics Navy Blue Perforated Crop Leggings in a size extra large. These sold for 15. Fabletics leggings have been doing not as great for me anymore as they used to. So I'm trying to be really picky with what I pick up as for style and for size. Um, next was a bundle. And after I say that, then these ones sold well, but this was a bundle of Powerhold Fabletics leggings. They were light pink crop leggings in a size extra large. And then a Zaya Active White Stripe Split Back Tank Top also in a size extra large and I sold that bundle for $50. So that was really good. <laughs> so of course I'm not ever going to not get Fabletics, but I'm just like, Ugh. I'm just trying to be more careful of not to just get like every single piece that I see. Um, I sold another bundle and this was a men's bundle. It was a North face green pants and a like toad and co short sleeve plaid shirt. I've had both of these for a while. I actually sold these North face pants to somebody on eBay but they informed me that they were a different style than what I'd advertised. Sorry, but I resold them again uh, pretty quickly and that bundle sold for 40 bucks. Next was a pair of AG Adriano Goldschmied Farrah High Rise Skinny Jeans. These were in a size 26 and they sold for 30, which was my full asking price. Next was a Christian Dior Monsieur Velvet Monogram Robe. This was getting a lot of interest. I know the Monsieur is not as expensive, I don't think, or possibly as desirable, but I think just with this being a robe and like the velvety looking material, it was monogrammed, sold for $40. Next was a vintage Levi's denim trucker jacket. I got this from a garage sale for like three or four bucks and I sold that for $35. These next shoes were Free People Black Royale flat cutout shoes. These came from a consignment store from their clearance sale. I think I paid $5 for them and they sold for $55. Next was the Garnet Hill tan linen sleeveless dress. This was actually a really old tag, but since it was linen, I went ahead and picked it up and it still sold pretty quick for 20 bucks. These Ugg purple shearling suede earmuffs, those came to me in a thread up fun box. They sold very, very quickly for $25 on Poshmark. Next was the brand Cool. This was the Ophelia red blue plaid long sleeve top in a size medium, and this sold for $22. I sold the Soft Surroundings Brown Wool Cardigan Sweater. It had like faux fur around the ends of the sleeves. So pretty unique. It was in a size extra large and it sold for $26. Next was a Torrid Galaxy Push Up Plunge Bra in a size 44 double D. This sold very quickly. Lots of interest in all the platforms. It sold for 22. I sold this pair of J Crew 9 inch high rise toothpick skinny jeans. I picked these up because they were in a size 32, larger size 
and they were really good condition. I really don't pick up hardly any J. Crew anymore, but these did sell for 20 bucks, so fine by me. Next is a brand Tuck. I think that's how you say it, T-U-K. They were leopard animal print platform sneakers in a size eight, and these sold for me for $35. I got those at a garage sale for $5. Oh my gosh, I've had so many interruptions. Somebody Amazon just came to our door. My dog freaked out. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Um, Lamb Gwen Stefani brown leather tassel purse. This came to me in a thread up rescue box and this sold for $52. So really happy with that because it was a very, very quick sale. Next is a pair of Spanx faux leather zip hip high rise leggings. I've sold this exact style once before for a lot of money. They sold again for my full asking price of $80. So definitely be on the lookout for those, especially in that style. Next was a pair of American Eagle high rise skinny teen, high rise skinny jeans in a size 10 long. These sold for $25. I sold these newest tags, free people movement, trekking out joggers. I actually had these for a super long time. Lots of interest, but no one was buying them. Not even for like 30 or 40. I think I would send out offers for Someone finally bought them for 50 bucks, which was my asking price at that time. So thankfully I sold those. Next was a cabbie gray long sleeve flash dance sweatshirt dress. I just got this. Now I realize as I sat back down, I'm not leaving room for my pictures. Okay. Um, anyway, this sold super fast within minutes for $25. I sold this Lululemon neon yellow striped ice queen top in a size two, and that sold for $28. Another Lululemon. This was the purple pelt down crop hoodie oversize. It was in a size six and that sold for $30. I sold this pair of American Eagle ripped knee distressed jeggings. These were in a size two and they sold for $17. Another pair of AG Adriano Goldschmied super skinny jeans. These were in a size 27. They had distressing on the knee and they sold for $20. This was a new to me brand. It was called Able and it said local and global underneath. They were a really nice pair of loafers. They were croc embossed, tan color, like new condition, and they sold for $40 within a couple of days. So I guess a good brand to be on the lookout for. Next was a pair of new American Eagle curvy high rise jeggings. They were in a size 18 wide. I got these from a TJ Maxx clearance sale and I sold them for $30. I sold this Barefoot Dreams circle cardigan sweater. This was in a size extra small and it sold for $45. I was actually just at a thrift store and I was across the aisle from people who were looking at the pajama section and I heard these two girls talking and she said, oh, Barefoot Dreams, this is really soft. And the other girl says, I think it's expensive. Maybe you should get it. And she did get it. I don't think they're resellers. And I was just like, ah, give that to me. I hate that. But I have had times where I've heard people say something and then I go around and look and they didn't get it. So that's kind of nice. Um, next is a pair of Anthropology Green Joggers. These sold super quick for me, like within a couple of hours for $22. I sold these new Olakai Bubbly Strappy Silver Sandals. These were in a size 7. I paid $25 for these at a TJ Maxx clearance, but they did sell for $65. So that's pretty good, at least doubling my money for RA, Retail Arbitrage. Uh, this is definitely a good sale. These were a pair of Gucci Black Leather Horse Pit Sandals. I paid $125 for these sandals, which might seem crazy to you. They were a full price at a consignment store, but I looked up comps and I thought I still could make good profit on them. I sold them for $225 and that leaves me with about $65 profit. So you might think, why would you pay that much? But listen, $65 profit. If I could make $65 profit, like on everything else, that would be amazing, but that's not my average <laughs> profit margin. But I mean, I had Gucci in my closet, but I mean, to me, sometimes you have to spend money to make money. First of all, having that brand in my closet, it was just exciting. And I like that it possibly could bring in more traffic. Um, lots of interest in all the platforms, a couple of lower offers, 225 is the lowest I was gonna go. Some sold for up to 300, but those were new ones, I think, and mine were not new. So I will take $65 profit any day. So that was a really exciting sale. I shipped those out yesterday. Next was a Lululemon White Good Karma Comes Around Tea. Um, it actually had words written on it, which I never see with Lululemon. And it was in a size eight and it sold for $20. Next is a pair of Anthropology Lilka Tiburon Printed Pull-On Pants. These were in a size small and they sold for $20. 
I sold these Loeffler Randall black suede cutout heels in a size nine and a half. These sold for $25. Next was a new with tags Stitch Fix Market and Spruce Stripe Quintana sweater. This was in a size large and it sold for $25. Another full price sale. This was new Athleta Nolita high rise wide leg pants. These were in a size four and they sold for $60. I sold this new Victoria's Secret pink ombre sports bra. I had quite a few of these that I found from a thrift store. This was in a size extra small and it sold for $22. And then I sold these Kid Uggs classic short boots. These only sold for 13, but they were in pretty rough shape and I think I got them for a dollar somewhere. So still made a few dollars off of those. And then I sold this Torrid Coral Georgette high low sleeveless tank top. This I just listed last night and it sold this morning for $18. I sold this vintage jerseys Maui Hawaii green sweatshirt. I only had this for a few weeks, I think. Uh, sold pretty quick for $27. Next was an Eileen Fisher tan linen organic cotton jacket. This I've had for a really long time. Don't know why it wasn't selling, but finally sold for 20 bucks. And my last sale on Poshmark was just this morning. It was that Marc Jacobs Pan Am tote, which I just had in my last video. I'll link it up here. Thread up designer handbag box, not handbag, thread up designer box. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that great, but after thinking about it and thinking about comps, it actually, I think is not bad. Um, this bag, someone offered me $75. I listed it last night for 120, but listen, I like to make quick sales. And so I, that was listed like for maybe 12 hours. So yeah, I'm going to take $75 and I'm going to move it out super quick. That's really for me, how I like to run my business. I don't know what you guys do, but yeah. So that was amazing. Let's move on to Mercari. Like I said, I don't think I had a ton of sales, but let's check it out. Um, first was a pair of Can Can Ultra High Rise Skinny Jeans in a size 29. These sold for $23. And then I sold these Allen Edmonds Del Rey Brown Leather Men's Shoes. I just picked these up at a Salvation Army. These sold for $34. And the last thing on Mercari was Athleta Red High Rise Contender Leggings. These were in a size medium. I also just picked these up. They were in my last thrift haul and they sold for 31. I don't know why Mercari was so slow, but honestly, Mercari is never consistent for me. So really glad that eBay and Poshmark were. I will say if you are not cross-listing, you should be because if I was only selling on Poshmark, way, way, way less sales. So anyway, those were my sales. Please hit the thumbs up button for me if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button with the little bell next to it. That way you get notified every time I put up a new video. I'll have more thrift hauls, more what solds, more thread up unboxings. I'll see you guys later. Bye.